The way of divine ignorance is true religion, or the sacrifice of self in God. The way of divine ignorance involves worship of the divine in spirit and in truth. It is total and radical worship, or most profound sacrifice of self, granted to the transcendental reality, or life, that is the condition and consciousness of all that is alive and appearing. Worship is sacrifice. Worship in truth is sacrifice of mind, or all knowledge, into the intuition of divine ignorance. The sacrifice of self-possessed knowledge ultimately becomes selfless wisdom. Worship in spirit is sacrifice of bodily existence into the all-pervading divine radiance. The sacrifice of bodily or formal in, in independence of self ultimately becomes selfless divine existence. Worship in spirit and in truth is sacrifice of all that is oneself and that one possesses or by which one is possessed. It is not sacrifice of what is less or other than oneself or that is only symbolic of oneself or that is less than the totality of what one possesses. It is the sacrifice of man in God and such worship or sacrifice is true religion or religio-spiritual participation in life. The way of sacrificing God or eternal life is a matter of growth in responsibility for the awakening and the sacrifice of all the various structures of the body-mind. The first level of such responsibility is expressed through the personal conditions of practice. The personal conditions of practice involve responsibility for the regenerative management of divine sacrifice of the vital functions below the heart. Thus, the personal conditions involve regenerative or life-positive responsibilities relative to diet and health, sexuality, exercise and common activity, work, transformative discipline or the verbal mind through study, and right exercise of the will through service. The second level of responsibility in this way is expressed through the central, most fundamental and whole bodily dimension of the moral conditions of practice. The moral conditions of practice involve responsibility for the regenerative or life-positive and self-sacrificial devotion of the heart itself or the total and feeling being. Thus, the moral conditions of practice involves kind of responsibility for the reactive tendencies of the body-mind or the fundamental self-defining reflex of contraction into self-possession, negative emotion, relational avoidance and this subjective orientation. The moral responsibility in practice is expressed through service in the fullest sense of love or devotion of feeling attention by all relations under all conditions into the infinite divine. The third level of responsibility for true worship or sacrifice of self into life is expressed through higher structural or higher psychophysical conditions of adaptation. Thus, the higher psychophysical conditions of practice involve regenerative spiritual, yogic and transcendental responsibilities or forms of esoteric meditation and mental transcendence. The regenerative or life-positive structural development of higher psychophysical responsibility is a matter of growth into the dimensions of the body-mind above the heart. The way of divine ignorance, or the life-positive way of sacrifice, 
or the independent body-mind into the divine is finally or ultimately summarized in a single total and radical responsibility. It is the intuitive sacrifice of every dimension of our structure, below and above and at the heart. It is that sacrifice that is made from and as the heart in truth. It is dissolution and translation of the body-mind, or separately defined self, into the paradox and spirit radiance of divinity.